Have you ever wondered about the differences between Golden Retrievers and Labrador Retrievers? Both breeds have common characteristics and their morphology shares certain similarities from far away. Do you know how to differentiate between them? It is not a simple difference of colour, but a matter of different breeding, appearance and character. Both are incredible dogs, but which one might be better suited to you or your family? Keep watching to find out. Both the Labrador Retriever and Golden Retriever are two breeds developed partly in the United Kingdom. Below we describe these origins in a little more detail. Many experts place the true origin of the Labrador Retriever on the coast of Newfoundland which is in the province of Newfoundland and Labrador in Canada. It is there where a very similar dog to the Labrador we already know today was first observed, often performing the function of collecting hunted prey from the water. Some theories claim that the Labrador was founded in the 16th century and is the result of breeding between the now extinct St John's Water Dog and English, Portuguese and Irish working dogs. However, other theories include the Newfoundland dog in their ancestry. The Labrador Retriever begins to stand out as an individual breed at the beginning of the 19th century in England, specifically in military field tests when it was first exhibited by Colonel Peter Hawker and the Count of Malmesbury. The specimen described by Lorna, Countess of Ho, was called Malmesbury Tramp and is considered one of the very first Labrador Retrievers. In 1916, the Labrador Retriever Club was founded and later in 1925, the Yellow Labrador Club was also founded. All this goes to say that we have a relatively modern breed to consider. The Labrador Retriever is also known simply as a Labrador, with a shortened nickname of Lab in common usage. The first Baron Tweedmouth, born in mid-19th century Scotland, is considered the founder of the modern Golden Retriever breed. By crossing a flat-coated retriever and a Tweed Water Spaniel, now extinct, he achieved four golden-haired puppies which were the basis for the current breed. Later, they crossed paths with other breeds such as the Bloodhound and the Irish Setter. At that time, Golden Retrievers were considered dogs with excellent skills for hunting. This was at the time where British nobles had a heyday for hunting, where birds of all species were stalked. Like a Labrador Retriever, the Golden Retriever showed a predisposition for collecting the prey. In 1913, the Golden Retriever was officially recognised by the Kennel Club UK as a Yellow or Golden Retriever, although it wasn't until 1920 when the Golden Retriever Club was established. There are currently several lines of Golden Retriever breeds including English, American and Canadian. The Golden Retriever and Labrador Retriever are undoubtedly similar in terms of physical characteristics, However, there are some details which may help us to fairly easily differentiate between the two. The Labrador Retriever is a medium-large dog with a harmonious and well-proportioned appearance. It is considered to have a strong constitution and has a broad skull. To know the difference between the Labrador and Golden Retriever, it's helpful to review these three particular characteristics. Firstly, according to size, the males measure between 56 and 57 centimeters at the withers, with the females measuring between 54 and 56 centimeters. They present uniform colours, whether totally black, yellow or a chocolate liver colour. Its coat is short, hard, dense and without waves or fringes, and it has a water-resistant undercoat. Like the Labrador, the Golden Retriever is also a medium-large dog with a proportion size and powerful aspect. Their bodies are strong, powerful and muscular. To differentiate from the Labrador, we can again look at their size, males measuring between 56 and 61 centimetres, and females being around 51 to 56. Their colour being any variation of gold or cream tones, with the exception of red and mahogany. And their coat can be either smooth or wavy, but it will always be fringed. Additionally, it has a dense and waterproof undercoat. According to dog psychology expert Stanley Corrin, both the Golden and Labrador Retrievers are in the top 10 list of smartest dog breeds in the world. They place 4th and 7th respectively. Below we will show you in further detail the temperament of these incredible dogs. The Labrador Retriever is considered a very intelligent, loyal, sociable and proactive dog. It also stands out for having a particularly affable and even docile approach to people. These are dogs of a balanced nature which should begin as soon as they reach maturity. They love the water, smelling tests, and are tremendously agile. The Golden Retriever is also a particularly intelligent dog, according to the ranking a few places higher than the Lab. We can describe them as a dog of a quiet, loyal, kind, trustworthy, and friendly nature. This trustworthiness makes it one of the best nanny dogs, and it also has a natural predisposition towards working. Now you know a little more about these dog breeds, you can see that they are very similar and will both make incredible pets. 
Perhaps the deciding characteristic is when you meet one of them yourself and see how you get on. Is there anything else you would use to differentiate them? Which one do you prefer? Leave a comment explaining which is your favourite and give us a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to our channel for more info on breeds, pet care and everything animal related. See you next time.